Welcome back, Rams. I'm Mariana. And I'm Shalise. This week, we're back to our normal broadcast. So here's Miss Ray in Ramily with Ray. Hi, I'm Tiana, and on this week's Ramily with Ray segment, we're talking about the expectations for going back to school. Oh, hey, Rams. What should you expect from hybrid learning? It's time to come back to school, and I am excited about it. So the seniors this week have been figuring it all out for you. If you have not read your emails lately with the plan for hybrid learning, please, please do. The information is also available on the Wilson website. If you go to the Wilson website and you click the preview of the week button, you're able to read the most recent preview of the week and that has information about hybrid learning all linked. You're gonna want to make sure you download the Family app or know how to access the Family app online if you haven't already. High school students can complete their own attestation surveys. So as a high school student, you can fill out your own questions. You know, have you been exposed for, uh, to COVID? Are you coughing, showing any symptoms? You can answer those questions on your own. If there are errors on the attestation, you just go to the attendance window and they will help you. If you are a student who doesn't have a first period or a fourth period or a sixth period, you check in at the attendance window, just like you would normally. Super excited to have ninth graders coming in next week, but I will say this week with just the seniors, it's been very, very quiet. So excited to have some ninth graders come in next week and ninth graders, don't be nervous. There are signs up everywhere. There will be some seniors here to help. There will be staff members and teachers in the hallway to help. And we will be out in the courtyard and just all over campus to make sure that you know where to go and you're not nervous. We're also going to give a little bit of grace. So if you're 30 seconds late to class after the bell, that's gonna be okay for these first couple of days, as long as you know, you're know you not dilly dallying around, you're on your way to class, but maybe you went in the wrong direction. We're gonna take care of you. So don't be nervous, you can't mess up. It's gonna be great. Please make sure to check your emails because your grade level principals will be sending information to you. For ninth graders, that's Ms. Bennett. For 10th graders, that's Mr. Hosef. And for 11th and 12th graders, that's Miss Hartman. So look for emails from them. Check the preview of the week on the Wilson website if you haven't been doing so, and listen up for other information. So excited to have you back, Rams. I'm not gonna go into all the specifics because you can go and find it on your own. Self-advocacy. Go Rams. Thank you, Miss Ray. That was really helpful. Back to you, Mariana and Jalise. Thanks, Miss Ray. Next up is Allie with information from Miss Sprick. Hey Rams, it's me, Ollie, bringing you some new information from Miss Sprick. Seniors, picture this. You've earned all the credits you need in the right courses, you've taken Washington State history, and you met the graduation pathway requirement. Are you ready to graduate? Actually, no. You still have to complete the high school and beyond plan. This year, it is all online as a course on Schoology called HSBP12. The assignments are in a series of folders, and there are instructions for each one. Don't put it off and get started on your HSBP today. Second, Rams, the Wilson General Scholarship application is due in two weeks. And as of Monday, only five students have applied. Seniors, the link is in Ms. Sprick's Sway page. Remember that you must complete your high school and beyond plan by the same date the scholarship application is due, which is April 2nd. Get on it, Rams. See you next week. Thanks, Allie. Now, here's sports with Jaden. Welcome back to Ram TV. This is Jaden, reporting back with your news. Last Friday, we lost 48 to 12 against the Lakes. The next Friday, we play in Lincoln at 7. Stay tuned to watch the game. On Monday, it's a new sports session. Go out there and have some fun. My guy John's on the building. Yeah. Thanks, Jaden. Now let's take a look at more sports news with Kayla. Hi, I'm Kayla and welcome to Sports at Wilson. Here are some previous highlights from golf and volleyball. Thank you. 
both teams have done extremely well this season. On the docket for this week, tonight, March 26th, Varsity Boys Football versus Lincoln at the Stadium High School Bowl at 7 p.m. And then tomorrow, March 27th, Varsity Girls Volleyball NA, normal tournament site to be announced at a later date. Be sure to wish them luck. Back to you, Mariana and Shalice. Thanks, Kayla. Here's a segment that we haven't seen in a while, Jackson's Book Review. Hello Rams, my name is Jackson and welcome to this week's book review. Today's book of the week is The Anaasi Boys, published by Neil Gallman in 2005. It is a fantasy novel about two brothers descendant from a trickster god named Anaasi who help each other throughout the book. This is an amazing book and I would highly recommend reading it. I loved it and you will too. That's it for book review this week and I'll see you next week. Bye Rams! Thanks Jackson, we're gonna try to put a smile on your face. Here's Weekly Positively with Ellery. Good morning, Rams. It's Ellery for Weekly Positivity. This week's topic is the COVID-19 vaccine. 14-year-old Benjamin Kagan recently founded the Chicago Vaccine Angels, a group that helps people book appointments to get vaccinated. Senior citizens who qualify for the vaccine now may have some trouble accessing the computer or signing up for treatments online. The Chicago Vaccine Angels have helped 119 people, mainly the elderly, get their appointments. This just goes to show that even though high schoolers aren't yet eligible for the vaccine, we can still help those who are. So stay safe and go Rams! Thanks Ellery. Now let's take a look at the yearbook commercial with Trinity. Yearbook, yearbook, yearbook. The yearbook staff have created an awesome product in this day and age of our pandemic. They were able to create many different topics, some that we never imagined. In the coming weeks, we will share spoiler alerts, two that have already shared videos, 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 and the year's Nova. Never has Wilson yearbook had videos. Get your yearbook today. They're going fast. Use the link in our description. Don't lose out and purchase yours today. Thanks, Trinity. So, Felice, are you excited to be going back to in-person school? Yeah, I'm excited to get somewhat of a senior year. What about you? Yeah, I am excited. I want to see my teachers and meet some of my classmates in person. Okay, now let's dive into our next segment. Top five with Joe. What's going on Rams? My name is Joseph. Welcome to Top 5. This week we have a very special one. Since Miss Ray did her Top 5 and copied mine, I'm going to do my Top 5 songs. So let's get into today's video. Coming at number five, we have Blinding Lights by The Weeknd. Um, it was an okay song, but it's kind of overplayed now a little bit, but it's all right. Coming in, number four, hmm, it's just, if you're a gamer, it's the Minecraft theme song, obviously, like all the boys, like we, we know this by heart, we get like, you, you gotta know it. And coming in at number three, we have Somebody's Watching Me by Rockwell featuring Michael Jackson. If you like the old school music, Michael Jackson, it's a good song. I recommend listening to it. Coming in at number two, we have What Is Love. This song is a classic. Like literally everybody knows this song. And if you don't, I'm very disappointed. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, it, it's just a good song. It's, it's iconic. But last, certainly not at least, number one. That's going to wrap up today's top five segment. I hope you guys enjoyed and have a good weekend, Rams. I will see you guys next week. Go Rams. Thanks, Joe. We're entering spring, so let's see what the weather has in store for us with Cat in the four-day weather forecast. It's Kat and welcome back to Weekly Weather Forecast. This week we have Saturday through Monday consisting of showers with Saturday's temperatures being 51 to 38, Sunday 48 to 40, Monday 51 to 37, and Tuesday partly cloudy with temperatures of 55 to 39. That is all for this week and please remember to stay safe. Thanks Kat. Now let's check out Weather in the Field with Annalyn. Hey, this is Annalyn with your Weather in the Field for this week. 
Uh, did you know that the first day of spring is on March 20th? And uh, you can already see signs of that from trees starting to sprout and flowers starting to bloom, just like these cherry blossom trees behind me. Um, also, I would suggest wearing a coat, though, because the average temperature of March in Seattle is 52 degrees. So we're going to get some sunny days and some not so sunny days, which I thought was very interesting. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and back to you. Thanks, Annalyn. Now it's time for our last segment. Here's Photo of the Week with Preston. That's an awesome abstract. It was well lit. Here's a star example of vibrancy. Thank you, Marina. I'm in fact Preston, and welcome back to Photo of the Week. Daria submitted a great image of Rule of Thirds, her capture of what she calls Sitting Crow. Her depth field is very shallow, making it a very appealing image. Super tight and great focus, color, and clarity. I need her to take me out and show me this technique. Until next week, this is P-R-E-S-T-O-N. That's Preston. Thanks, Preston. That's all we have for you this week. Until next time. Great to be around. Hey, everyone. Thanks for watching. And remember to subscribe and ring the bell to get notifications for when we post a new video. See you next time, Rams. This is how we do it at Wilson.